first problem we have is finding them. Where are they? Where our highlands shouldn't be. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell. Videos every Tuesday and Friday, the odd occasion, sometimes maybe. We do Sunday's video. Today, very exciting day today. We are in a little van. You can see we use our new feed bin. Great, it didn't get stuck, it just nice and flowed. Uh, we are going to the other farm to go pick up the loader tractor because we've finished siloing and that's gonna be redundant over there because it's not gonna be doing anything. We're gonna do some fencing today. We are doing something with the Highland. It is the 11th of June today, is it, Father? 11th of June. 11th of June today. We're gonna let the Highlands see the bull. So we had a debate about this a couple of months ago and we didn't know what to do with the Highlands. Were we gonna put uh, a belted Galloway on them? Were we gonna put a Highland on them again? The problem with those two options is there's gonna be cost. It's cost to get a Highland bull and it is cost to get a belted Galloway. We have another option, don't we, Father? We have it. Pretty well certain. Need to the gate. The first problem we have is finding them. Where are they? Ah! Found him. So, what we're going to do today is we are going to put our highlands with Neptune, but we've just seen what somewhere where our highlands shouldn't be. We've, we've made the decision to put the highlands with Neptune just because we know Neptune is decent. He will get them in calf. He knows how to do his thing. He's a, he's a good bull, isn't he? Good bull. Good bull. He did have a problem with his foot. He's walking 10 times better with his foot now, which is fan dabby dozy and fantastic. Took the four highlands with Neptune. Am I glad I shut that gate? So time. glad he shut that gate yesterday. So someone's obviously not shut Someone the gate. Too. Not shut the gate, have they? Shut the gate. They don't shut the gate, do they? Why do they not shut the gate? You go around. I'll go around them. You know, let's talk about a little bit of fencing we're going to do today. That's where we're going to do it. We've got a little track up here and we're going to fence this off. Come on, hurry it. Hurry it. Again, the joys of feeding your own stock is that they follow you. Come on, guys. I'll just shut this gate in here. Come on. This gate here, there's a track that goes around the back. It's for the horse riders and the shooters, and they use this track. But obviously, someone didn't shut the gate. There's a piece of string there. Literally, you wrap the string around and it goes round. It's easy, it's simple, but obviously, not last night. And Dad luckily shut that gate yesterday. Come on. <laughs> the joys of making sure you feed your stock at least once every other day. But we do feed them, we try and feed them every day. And this is the joys of it because they come this way. Got it! Yeah, you got that gate in a minute. Uh, Me being a glass half full kind of guy, Dad shutting that gate did a cracking job. Well done, Dad. You get five points today. But then the Highlands being down that section, they're on their own. They're not with the other cows, so you don't need to section them off. And the other thing is, because they were on their own, we just slipped them down here, they came, they fed, and they're here. But what we need to do now is open the gate up and let them go see Mr. Neptune. Never had it so easy. Feed those, please. I'm gonna go drone and get the drone and stuff. Get rid of these Highlands. And then I'll grab you on your opinion of Highland Angus meat. He loves it. When we TB'd them, we actually, when we tested, we scanned about 20 heifers. And while we scanned 20 heifers, we scanned the cows as well, and they were cycling really, really well. So that's great. The bull is still over there, and he's not come up yet. We're gonna let these highlands go. We're gonna let Neptune see the girls. Top's the best. She's the most friendliest.
So guys, that is our Highlands with Mr. Neptune. He's just over there, the drone is still over there, living its dream. They seem to have settled in quite well. They were fighting quite a lot. Uh, you'll see that the young stock, what they do is they fight, they headbutt, and when the Highlands are about to lose, they just poke them with a the, with the big pointy things outside of the head. So they'll learn. There's a big enough field that they've got enough space to run away from them, which is good. So we decided to go for Neptune A, because we don't have to pay to get a bull in. B, by security, you don't have to have someone else's stock in and it's going to come in, come out. And C, yes. convenience. 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 D, Neptune has got loads in calf. He's doing so much better on that foot. I don't know if you saw, he actually ran to them to start with. It was lame about two weeks ago, but now what we did to his foot, it seems to have worked really, really well. So it's the 11th of June today. I know this video won't come out straight away. I do apologize for that. So they are due to carve on the 18th of March. I really want them to carve outside. We'll find the place for them. They want to carve outside. Don't Look want to carve these, them inside. These are all Neptune's black and black calves. Yeah, so all the, all, the, all the dark ones are all Neptune's. We've got some Charolais crosses. So these are beef stock just eating the outside of this big field until we do second cut. Quality of meat from an Angus cross Highland should be fantastic. He is a pedigree bull, so he should do really well. We're going to put, when the Highlands do come in, I'm going to put them on straw so they don't get too fat because obviously they haven't done anything for two years. They haven't, well, one year they've been able to grow a calf. We take the calves off and then for a year they've just been eating, doing nothing. They are costing hello. me money. Costing death money, but they've been getting fat in other words, so I don't want to start going through the side door of Highland. I'm going to go feed that group either later on today or tomorrow morning, so we'll see how they settled in, but they seem to have settled in really, really well. Hopefully we have some calves next year, fingers crossed. So we're about 10 days, I think we did it last Tuesday, um, from the Highlands going with the bull, and uh, I'll show you something quite interesting, definitely. So what is interesting about this, obviously the highlands are here, it's rained a lot the past week which is great, grass is growing but obviously in our feed little areas, it's gone a bit mucky. The only animal I have ever, and I'm talking ever, seen the highlands back down to is Neptune, he's obviously away from them right now, I thought she was backing up then, a little red in there, just watch, watch this, it's just mental. So he's coming there, Toffee's there, there's Minnie as well, he's just the boss. See the Highlands use their horns to get the heifers away, but they do not mess with the bull. So Neptune's just there. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> they know. What the plan is, in two months, I'm going to get them all out and I'll probably PD all these heifers in two months just to see where we're at, make sure Neptune's still serving them, which I'm pretty sure he will be. Make sure that the Highlands are like one or two are in calf at least in two months, but if not, we'll have to look at a different bull. He did have that lame foot. He's, he's, he's fine on the foot now, <laughs> no problems at all. When he did have his lame, he was a bit slow coming in. You can see he's straight on it, which is great. He's living with the Highlands at the moment. They're living together. I wonder if he's gonna top him. I hope so, you can see they just boss him. So they're doing well. Hopefully everyone's gonna be in calf. Hopefully we're gonna have some nice Angus Cross Highlands next year. That's the plan. I'll keep you updated in a month or two about these. Any questions, put it in the comment section below. If you like the video, obviously, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, get your TP merch. Boom! Boom! We're not actually doing the polos. We'll do them in autumn at permittedsvibeshop.co.uk slash TP merch. Relaunch will be in about two to three weeks-ish. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram on those and you'll know more information. They're living together. Happy together. Thank you very much. See ya. Bye.